All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this HP laptop to upgrade or replace the hard drive with an SSD, um, as well as upgrade the RAM. All right, so we're gonna remove the battery first, just like this, slide that over, it pops up and you can take it out. The model number of this laptop is DV6-6013CL, all right? So as you saw with the battery, you slide that over and it pops up like that. The battery model number is right here, MU06, all right? You'll want to check your battery to make sure it's the same. And then there's the HP spare part number here, 53, or sorry, 593554-001, all right? So we're going to set that aside for now. Next, we're going to slide it over this direction, and it pops up the cover like that. And then we can go ahead and pull or get underneath the cover here, and then just pull it up just like this, okay? If you want, you can replace the CD drive or optical drive here. Um, let me actually zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit clearer. Um, all right. So if you want to replace the CD drive or optical drive, you just got to remove this screw. We're using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver. You want to keep the screws in order because they are different size, shape, and lengths. And then after you remove that screw, you can actually push the CD drive out through here. All right. Um, they do sell hard drive adapters that have this connector here so that you can change the CD drive to a hard drive. You will want to transfer this over. Otherwise, you'll have this big empty space here along the CD drive. <clears throat> but if you don't mind, you can just leave that open. It doesn't matter um, because sometimes removing this bezel here can be difficult and the clips can actually break. Um, but if you don't plan to ever use this CD drive again, you could always just try and pop that out the best you can. Um, you can use a little needle or a pin or even just a bent open paper clip to um, push through here and that will eject the CD drive so you have a little bit more area to work with. Um, but other than that, we're going to go ahead and put this back in. Okay. And then the only other things we're going to show are the RAM and the hard drive in here. So you've got the RAM here. There's two sticks of RAM. Just pull these two tabs to the side or away from the RAM just like that. It pops up and then you can go ahead and pull the stick out. The RAM here, oh, they covered it. So let's see if the other one is the same. Hopefully they didn't cover it so we can read the specs and nope, they covered both. So I'm going to try and peel up one of the stickers. Um, there's an HP spare part number here. I'm not sure what that's for. It might be for the motherboard. Um, so if you need that, you'll want to check yours, but this is 641485-001. All right. Let's go ahead and put the RAM back in. So I actually cloned the hard drive in advanced. So I'm basically just going to swap it out with an SSD. Um, but let me see if I can get the RAM information for you first. Um, this does look like DDR3. I think it's it might be DDR3 RAM. Let's go ahead and peel this sticker up so I can double check. So there's 2 gigs. Yep, PC3. Uh, 10800S, I believe. This sticker's not peeling off right. Um... But yeah, it looks like PC3, it got covered there. PC3 10, 10, 800, or 10, 600 or 10, 800 S. I wish I could peel that off, but it doesn't want to peel off right. I think it's a 10, 600, because I don't think there's a 10, 800. Sorry. Um, but yeah, PC3 10, 600 S. You can put any size stick of RAM you want. So if you want, you can upgrade this with two 8 gig sticks. If you want, you can check your RAM as well just to make sure. But yeah, there's a wireless card here. We're not going to mess with that, but you can pull the antennas up by the tails to pop it off. Um, and then the two screws will allow it to pop up like the RAM at an angle, and then you can pull it out. All right, there's also the BIOS, CMOS, or RTC real-time clock battery under here. Um, again, we're not going to mess with that. But it's a common CR2032. Okay, then we got the hard drive connector here. So we're going to remove the hard drive and swap out the SSD. So there's four screws holding this hard drive caddy into place. We're going to remove those. Again, keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. I just put them on my desk in this pattern, in this rectangular pattern. And that's how I can keep track of where the screws came from. All right, once we got those four screws out, 
you can lift this up, but we're going to disconnect this cable first. So we're going to lift up this plastic tab here, okay? And then you can grab this and you just pull it straight up just like that, all right? Once you've done that, make sure the cable is unrouted from those plastic things. And then we can lift the hard drive out. So this is the hard drive. It's a two and a half inch SATA hard drive. Again, we are gonna be replacing this with an SSD. So we're gonna remove the four screws that are holding the hard drive into place. Okay, just like this, pretty simple. Okay, again, we cloned the hard drive in advance. So we're gonna be putting a one terabyte SSD in here um, with all the same exact data that's on here. If you don't clone it, you're gonna have no operating system and your computer won't boot up. Anyways, we're gonna flip it upside down like that and then lift this off. And then we're gonna pull this um, SATA connector off. So just grab it tight and then you can pull the hard drive off. I kind of like to wiggle it like that and there we go. All right, so now we're going to take the SSD, same thing, and we're just gonna reconnect it to the um, SATA connector here. Then we're gonna put this back into place. All right, and then we're just going to put the four screws back in. I like to loosely fit the screws first just to make sure everything lines up because sometimes the screw holes don't line up right. And if you tighten one down, it's gonna, you're gonna have to unscrew it later. So there we go, we got these two. I'm gonna flip it over and get the other two in. Okay, just like that. All right, okay, tighten that screw all the way down, tighten this screw all the way down, tighten this screw all the way down, and this screw all the way down. All right, if you're wondering, I believe this is a speaker connector that you kind of grab and you kind of have to wiggle to pull it out. And then I think this is for the CD drive or optical drive, it runs all the way over here, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead now and put the SSD in. All right, we're gonna get these four screws back into place to hold the hard drive caddy into its slot. Technically, if you have an SSD in here, you don't really need to secure it with these four screws. Um, but yeah, it's always nice to have it secured. Um, the SSD, because there's no moving parts, you don't even need this um, metal bracket. As long as you have the connector here to connect it to the motherboard, you should be okay. Though it will rattle around, so it's nice to just attach everything the way it was. But if you wanna just do it quickly, yeah, you don't really need to reconnect all of that. All right, so now we're gonna get this hard drive connector back. Click that back down into place. And then we're gonna just push this cable back in. You don't wanna slot it in here because then it's gonna get stuck. There's these plastic things that are sticking out. So we just move it around there, go up that way, and there we go. All right, very simple to swap the drive out. Again, we did clone it over to an SSD. All right, now we're going to, we can set this hard drive aside because we cloned it, all the data is still on there. Okay, so we're gonna take this I like to slide the bottom half in first because it has the little feet that stick out here. And then while I'm holding this side up, I push the side over here. And then now while I'm holding the middle up, I push this side in, okay, just like that. And then we just work our way back up. And there we go. Very nice and simple to pop the thing back in. Actually, let me get a thumbnail here. So I'm gonna slide this over and we'll just pop this back out, all right? All right, so we can use that as a thumbnail. Okay, let's go ahead and put it back together. All right, and then snap all of this back in. All right, nice and simple. We'll put the hard drive away. And then we just put the battery back in, very easy. Just put it at an angle like that and drop it in. All right, we're gonna power it up, make sure everything's working. But that's pretty much it. Very simple to upgrade the hard drive and RAM on this, unlike a lot of newer computers where everything is soldered in or underneath the motherboard. Um, anyways, that's pretty much all there is to it. We're gonna boot it up. If this video helped you, make sure to like, subscribe, and share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Other than that, that's pretty much all there is to it. You can see it's actually booting up.
um, before it took a lot longer to boot up. So it's a lot faster now. It's still starting, but there you go. All right, so much faster than before. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Um, it's always a good thing as well for Windows 10 or higher to uh, restart the computer one time after installing a new hard drive or new hardware. But um, other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, let's drop this. Bye.